Thanks for watching my series on how to design a Telecaster in Fusion 360. This is going to be a short video that fixes a problem in the guitar body video. One of my viewers posted a comment that for a Telecaster, the top of the neck is not flush with the top of the body. It actually stands up a little bit proud of the body. I did some research on this and the viewer indeed was correct. So this video is going to show how to make the fix. So here's the model as it stands at the end of video 7. And if I zoom in here, you can see that the bottom of the fretboard, or the top of the neck, is flush with the guitar body, and it should not be. Uh, if I hide the fretboard, you can see that it's perfectly flush here. So what we want to do is we want to drop the body or raise the neck um, by an eighth of an inch. And we also want this neck cavity um, to lose an eighth of an inch. So let's hide the neck here and hide the truss rod and take a look here. So a couple ways to measure the neck cavity here. Um, we could just click on this line, that's a half an inch, and then click on this line and it's three quarters. Um, so that's, I'm sorry, it's one quarter. So I add the two together and it's three quarters. Or I can press I for inspect and actually click on this surface and then this surface and you'll see that we have three quarters of an inch there. So that is supposed to be five eighths of an inch. Okay, so um, I think the way I'm going to try to fix this is to go into the body component and rewind the timeline back to when this body was first extruded, which is probably this extrusion right here. Let me back the timeline up one more, and you can see that the whole body goes away. So that indeed is the extrusion. <clears throat> and if I turn on the sketches, basically at that time in the timeline, all we have is a single sketch, which is the outline. And I'm going to turn on the neck just to show you that um, when we did this outline sketch, we specifically made it on the same plane as the top of the neck. So I'll hide the neck here. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this extrusion. So if I right click on the timeline, I can go to Edit Feature. And instead of the extrusion starting from the profile plane, which is what's selected right here, we're going to change that to an offset from the profile plane. And let's put in a negative 0.125 or negative eighth of an inch. And that's all we need to change. So I'll do an OK. And now it doesn't look like anything changed, but if I show the neck, you can see that the neck is now proud of the body. I'm going to go up and activate the top level component so we can see that a little bit better. And let's again inspect. So I'll press I for inspect. I'll click on the top of the neck and the top of the body and you can see we have an eighth of an inch difference there. Okay. So now the question is, uh, how do we do the neck pocket and how do we do everything else? Well, this is the beauty of fusion where um, I'm going to go back to the body component here. Um, as we replay this timeline, um, if all of these other extrusions and the neck pocket were all cut in reference to the top of the body, everything really should take care of itself. So let's see. It looks like we've still got our pockets here. Let me do a quick measurement there. So from top of guitar body to the bottom of the pocket is our 0.85, which is correct. And I'm going to restart our inspect selection by clicking on this little green arrow. I'll go top of body to the bottom of the control cavity, and that's an inch and a half, which is also correct. Now the big one is our neck pocket. So let me hide the neck. And I'm going to restart our inspect again from the top of the guitar body to the bottom of the neck pocket 
is 0.625, which is our 5 eighths of an inch. So it looks like everything's correct here. So make sure that you know you bring your timeline back out to the end here for your body. And then when we go to the main timeline and scroll that to the right, we should all also be at the end there. And let's see. Let's go ahead and show everything that we want to show here. I'm going to hide my body sketches, collapse my body down, show the truss rod and the fretboard, and now we zoom in and you can see that everything's in proper position at this point. I'm going to do one more thing in this video. I noticed that our body and truss rod and fretboard and nut are not grounded. You can see that the scale and the neck are grounded because there's a little push pin next to the component icon. Um, so basically we're going to select the body, the truss rod, fretboard, and nut, and right click and say ground. So now we can't move any of these components relative to each other um, purposely or accidentally. So that's it for this video.